You're watching Mid Michigan Now. All you're going to do is give him a chance. That was Michael Thompson in late January, a day after his release from prison, talking about other inmates. He said people should get a chance at freedom and productivity, and that's exactly what he's getting now. Mid Michigan Now's Mike Woolfolk with how a local business owner is helping Thompson succeed. He's a, he's not a barbecue man, he's a, he's a barbecue specialist. Michael Thompson stands with his grandson and co-worker, Michael Jr. The two have always been family, but until recently had never been together. January 28th, before dawn, Michael Thompson walks out of prison free for the first time in 25 years. Weeks later, he's now working at You Baked Cannabis in Burton. After I got released from prison, uh, he'd been nonstop trying to help me. He is Bob Dodge, who owns You Baked and took a keen interest in Thompson after reading about him. The connection started with Dodge reaching out to Thompson's daughter. I didn't at that time have any intention of employing him as much as I just wanted to help whatever he needed when he got out. When Governor Gretchen Whitmer granted Thompson clemency, she did not pardon him. She commuted his sentence, which means the felony conviction that landed him in prison remains on his record. Ironically, he still has a job now connected to the very thing that got him locked up. <laughs> it sounds kind of strange, but at the same token, uh, 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 marijuana should have been legalized many years ago. By law, Thompson can't be around the marijuana or any marijuana-infused products, but he can help promote the business, and that's his new job. We go to local dispensaries that buy our product, we promote our goods, um, we sell our swag, we give things away, and I said that may be a platform for you to get your message out there. That message is centered on reforming the prison system, building in some compassion for inmates who can change. If you keep on caging them up, you're going to make a, a person that can be rehabilitated bad. Michael Thompson can make a good case for that. His 23-year-old grandson's face lit up with the biggest smile when I asked how it felt to have his grandfather free and working with him. The younger Thompson says the fact that his elder namesake was in prison didn't stop him from always being in his life, telling me they spoke almost daily by phone. In the studio, Mike Woolfolk, Mid-Michigan Now.